Hello, welcome to lesson 18 on the design and implementation of soccer league transfer portal using server side blazer. I am Benjamin Fadina. In this lesson, we shall be using SQL Server reporting services to design reports. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to ensure that my SQL Server services is running. So the the two instances B Fadina and Ibukoloa, they are both running. Now the next thing I'm going to ensure is I'm going to click on my report server configuration manager. I'll open it, I'll connect to it. I will ensure that it started. And normally the first thing to do is to ensure that your report server is properly configured. For example, the service account is configured to be network service. Now this is the web service URL. The database is also configured. Then this is the web portal URL. Email settings, execution account, subscription keys, subscription settings. You have to ensure that all these things are properly configured. Now, when they've all been configured, the next thing you do is you go to, you click on this link. So I want to connect to Okay, so now I've just connected to reporting services. The address is local slash reports. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new data source. So I'll go to new, I'll say data source. I'll type a name for my data source. DS Soccer Hub. Now, I'm going to type a description used to Connect to soccer transfer app database. I'm going to enable the data source. I'm going to ensure that the type of the connection is SQL Server. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to get the connection string. Now I go to I'm going to Visual Studio. I have a connection to my application database. So I will copy it from here. I right click, I'll say copy, and I'll go back to this screen. I'll put paste. I'm going to type in the password. Then the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm still going to set credentials. For for this tutorial, I'm going to say without any credentials, and I'm going to say test connection. So you say connected successfully, then I'll click on create. So I have this new data source called Soccer Hub. Now the next order of business for me is to go to SQL Server. I'll connect to SQL Server using Management Studio. So now I'm going to connect to the instance of SQL Server called Ibukon Lua. I'm going to type in my password. I'm connecting as SSE. 
I'm going to say remember password. So I click connect. Now I'm going to expand on databases uh, folder. Now we have soccer league DB. And these are the tables in soccer league DB. I want to create a report on player transfers. How to create a report on. So I'm going to right click on soccer league DB, then I'm going to say new query. So I'm going to say create procedure soccer league transfer reports. Create procedure soccer league transfer report at start date. That's the parameter for the report. The data type for it will be date time, comma, at end date. That's another parameter for the report. The date type, the data type will also be it date time as declare at end date 2. The data type of end date 2. The data type of end date 2 will also be date type. Now, the next thing I'm going to add 23 hours uh, to end date 2. So I'm going to say so I'm going to say date at hour. 23 to at end date 2. I'm going to say set at end date 2 is equal to date at. And the next thing we are going to do is add 59 minutes to end date 2. So set at end date 2 is equal to date at minutes 59 to at and hit 2 at 59 seconds to and date 2 so set at end day two is equal to date at second fifty nine at end date two.
For example, if end date two was September fourteen. 2003 after executing the three hard statements and date two will now be September 14 2003 29 59 here. Now, the next business for us to do is we reply, we will right click, we we'll say design query in editor. Uh, we will add the player transfer table. Click OK. We need the player table as well. For now, I click. For now, we click close. I select transfer ID. Uh, I select player first name. Select player surname. Then I'll right click, I'll click on that table, then I will add club details. Now there is a bit of complication with club details. Let me widen the query designer for us a bit. There is a bit of complication with club details. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the current links that the club details as with the other tables. Now, I need to get the originating club ID. So I drag from team ID in club details. I drop it on originating club ID. So here I select team name. I give it an alias of old club in the designer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shadow copy of club details again. So I right click on the query designer, I say add table. I select club details again, I click on the hat. And the shadow copy of club details, called club details underscore one has been added. So what I will do again is I'll right click, I'll remove all the existing links. It has with all other tables. And then I will drag from team ID on destination club ID. So then I select team name in club details one. This time around, I'll give it an alias of new club. We need the transfer date, so I'll select the transfer date. Now for the filter for the transfer date, I'm going to say the filter for the transfer date will be between at start date, which is the, one of the parameters we created earlier, and at end date 2. I need the transfer type. How do I get the transfer type? For me to get the transfer type, I need to, again, add another table which is transfer types, click add. So here I have transfer types. So I'll select the transfer type name. I'll give it an alias of transfer type. Then I need the transfer fee. I need the sign on fee. I need the transfer agent. I need the agent fee. Now, my report is almost complete. The next piece of business for me is to make sure that all these are left G 
choice. So I right click here, I say select all rows from player transfers. The other link again, I right click on it. I right click on it, I say select all rows from player transfers. This link again, the link between player transfer and club details, I right click on it, select all rows from player transfer. Now the net effect is, is converting the inner joints to become left outer joints. I right click on the last inner joint. I right click on it. I say select all rows from player transfers. So all the joints have now been trans transformed to uh, left outer joint. I will now click OK. So now I'm not with this my final uh, TSKO statement for the soccer league transfer report so let's pass no error i click execute command completed successfully now that command has been completed successfully i'll go back to uh, reporting services so now here i'm going to say new paginated report Did you mean to switch up? Microsoft Edge is trying to open Report Builder. You say yes. Bam. The report requires a connection to Report Server. You have no, uh, whatever. You have not connected to this Report Server before, and connection is not secure. Do you want to continue? Yes. So let's create a blank report. Let's give our report a title. Let's call it soccer league. <laughs> let's call it soccer transfers. Now, the next thing we are going to do is We'll go to data source. So you are going to say add data source. Now, it's always advisable for one to use a shared connection or report model. So I'm going to use leave it as shared connection. Then I'll click on browse. Then I'm going to select the DS Soccer app that we created earlier on. Then I'll say open. Then I will say OK. Uh, before I say OK, test connection tells me connection created successfully, so I click OK. Now it's time to create a, a new data set. So I right click on data sets folder and say add data set. Um, I'm going to, this time around, I'm going to say use a data set embedded in my report. Then the data source will be the data source we created earlier on, which is data source one. The query type will be stored procedure. And the start procedure that we are going to call is our soccer league transfer report start procedure. So soccer league, this is it, soccer league transfer report. So I select it, then I click on OK. Now after dropping it, I see the you can see the columns in the report. Then there are some parameters. There is two parameters, start date and end date. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll right click on the surface of the report, the designer, I will say insert. Then I'm going to choose table. Now I'll start bringing in the columns from the data set. I right click here, I say insert column to the right. I right click here, I say insert column to the right. I widen my report a bit. Let me open, maximize the report designer. I right click here, insert column to the right. Transfer it. 
I right click here, insert column to the right. I right click here, insert column to the right. Transfer type. Still going to widen this, the report a bit. So I right click here, insert column to the right. Then I choose a transfer fee. I right click here, insert column to the right. Sign on fee. I right click here, insert column to the right. Transfer agent. Still right click here, insert column to the right. And I choose agent fee. Still need to make the report bigger a bit. Uh, transfer agent. Widen it a bit. Old club and new club. Widen them some bit. So name. And uh, first name. Now the next piece of business for me is to click on the column headers. The entire column header row. Click on both. Now the next thing I need to do is above the table, I say insert text box. Then here, I'm going to type something like soccer league. I'm going to widen it a bit. So soccer league transfers between between what? I click on start it or oh, no. I drop it there, say between at start date and I click again, I say insert text box. So I put and then Again, I go to report data, I drag, end date. Then I adjust end date to fit the same row. Now I'm going to select the four text boxes here. Then I click on bold. Ah, there's still some issue. After bolding, after applying bold font, sorry. I take this three to the right. I adjust this a bit. This is what I have. Now, um, I want to transfer this to the middle a bit. So, click transfers. So, transfer. I, I bold that as well. Now, I select all these four. I take them to the right a bit. Uh, let me leave them there. Now, the next thing I want to do is to format some stops. Ah, transfer fee. I'll click on the data rule for transfer fee. I'll go to text box properties. Uh, let me go to number. Let me say currency. Pay to leave it in dollar. Decimal places to show. Uh, thousand separator. I'll do the same thing to sign on fee. Text box properties, number, currency. I'll do the same thing to agent fee. So Agent fee. Agent fee. Go to properties. Go to number. Go to currency. Use thousand separator. Click on OK. 
then the transfer date widen it a bit see okay transfer date i also select it i'll right click go to text box properties number date and for the date i'm going to use this format it's 1 jan 2000 okay now the last piece of business for me i'm going to go to row groups I'm going to say add total after. Now I don't need total for transfer ID, so I'll clean everything that is there. Same backspace. Now I will come here and type in total in the in, in the empty box. Now I have some for transfer fee, sign on fee, and agent fee. That's cool. Now the next piece of business for me is I will light the total row, I will bold it. After applying bold, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to properties. Okay. And ensure that the appropriate format is assigned to the summation columns as the summation text boxes so okay that's fine click on this as well just to check okay drop this number okay that's cool now that i've done this I'm going to save my report. So I'm going to save it as soccer league transfer report. And note the location is being saved on HTTP localhost report server. So I click save. It's being saved. So it's finally saved. I go back to my report designer. I close this. Then I refresh. Here you have the soccer league transfer report that I've just created that I've created. Now the next piece of business is for me to bring it into Radzi. Now, how do I bring it into Radzi? But before I bring it into Radzi, let me open the report so that we have a preview of how it looks like in SQL Server Reporting Services. So I don't click on the report and you have the loading stuff. You are presented with a start date. Uh, let me see. First of December 2019 to the current date. So I say view report. Tells me report is loading. Ah, says no soccer transfer. Why? Um, let's look at what we have in the table. Disconnect from this. So this layer transfers selected. Fifth August to ten August. 
2020. Okay. Um, let's test the stored procedure. I'll go to Object Explorer. Stored procedure. Say execute stored procedure. Uh, let me say one one twenty twenty two twentieth of August twenty twenty. Click OK. Ah, oh, no data returned. No data returned. So we need to fix our stored procedure. In order to fix our stored procedure, I'll go to modify. First of all, let me highlight this portion to see that data is being returned. Click execute, okay? Data is being returned in that portion. Transfer it. Yeah, player. where the issue is. Okay. It will at start date and end date. Okay. I've just I've just modified the the end parameter to be at end date. Let me see what happens. Uh, let me see. Oh oh oh! I'll see what the issue is. Okay, at end date two fine. Uh, the mistake I made was, first of all here, I need to set, I need to assign at end date to at end date 2. So that's the first mis mistake. So I'm going to say set at end date two equals at end date. Okay, so we are altering the start procedure. So this is what we have. Uh, let's review again. Let's run the report again. View report. Okay, fine. This time we see that ah some data is returned, but there's still uh, some bit of issue. Let's uh, we are going to configure the uh, the the starting and end date. So how do we do that? Well, we simply go back again to localhost slash reports.
will highlight on soccer league transfer report and say edit in report builder uh, you click yes so report builder opens again let's maximize so we configure this text box Drop this go to number go to date then you select 31 jan 2000 right click on end date go to number you go to date 31 jan 2000 uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? So I click OK, execution time. Drop this. Number. Date. This time around. I want to choose the long format for the execution time. Let me drag it a bit. Let me apply bold to it. And I save. I close this. Now, I click on this. So let me say 1-1-2020 one, one, as start date. Let me say today's date, which is 20th of August 2020. I send it so view report okay so it is what i have sweet now now that i've designed my report perfectly using reporting services the next business for me is to open rising the next business is for me to open rising so I right click on Radzin, I click on open. Now we have soccer league transfer hub. I open it. Now I'm going to add a new page. Uh it's going to be an empty page. So I click on next. The name of the page will be Soccer League Transfer Report. So I click on save. And here you have my soccer league transfer report. Uh, going to improve the readability of that. Fine. So I go to toolbox. I drop a row. I drop a column in the row. Then I look for SSRS viewer. I drop it in my column. Then I adjust my SSRS viewer accordingly. Now, report server. Uh, let me go back to reporting services. Report server. Let me see. Uh, let's try. So let's try localhost slash report server. 
http so report server is http full polyp slash slash local slash report server i click ok now report the soccer league transfer report so let me see what happens and i type report name as soccer league transfer report now this is what i have um you can see uh the start date end date and view report stuff up yes now what i want to do is to quickly go to layout go to main and confirm that we have a report we, we have that report we don't have it so what do i do i click on hat let me promote it to the top so i call it soccer league transfer report or let me just call it transfer report transfer report now the part will be soccer league transfer report then i click done now that i've done that the next piece of business is for me to run my app so i click on run So the application has started going to login. And when I click on transfer report, I'm greeted with so the selector for start it so i pick first january 2020 and i pick end date as 20th of august and when i click view report is what i have so we have then it's back camp transferred from guna fc to blue fc on the 5th of august Transfer fee five million dollars. Sign on fee two hundred thousand dollars. Transfer it to agent Benjamin Fadim. We have Mustafa Mustafi moving from the IFC to Juventus IFC on tenth of August. Transfer type free agent. And the transfer fee is uh, zero. Sign on fee seven million dollars. Transfer agent self. Now. Reports can be exported to Excel, can be exported to PDF. Let's export result uh, report to Excel. Anyway, on this note, I end this lesson. Thank you for watching.